In this section, I'm going to go ahead and add some course files. You'll notice that I had mentioned to my students that I'm going to be linking to a course syllabus, a Microsoft Word document. And in order to do so, I need to start adding uh, course files. Um, when I s uh, scroll to the left-hand side of my course settings, um, I can see I have a files link. When I select into this, you can see that my files in this course, Introduction to Canvas, are empty. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Upload button here on the right-hand side to upload um, a photo that I created uh, for my course for my profile. Once I do, just you'll notice that by default when I refresh this page that the files link here on the left hand side turns on and that's because now that I have course files those are now available to my students uh, as well. I have the ability to create folders um, in my course file so I'm going to go ahead and create a folder and I'm going to call this uh, unit 1 uh, intro activities and um, I'm going to go ahead and upload files into Unit 1. So you can see that to um, move into Unit 1, I can go ahead and select it. And now when I click Upload, it's going to upload it into this subfolder called Unit 1. I have three files that um, I want to upload. And I'm going to go ahead and click Choose. And now those three files are now uh, published and available to my students. So, so far what we've done is we've uh, created a folder and we've uploaded a file and within that folder we've created a few folders. The last thing I'll just uh, want to point out to you is that you can upload a zip file. Uh, so this might be a file with lots of artifacts into it and Canvas will automatically unzip that file to, for you. So I'm going to go ahead and click upload. You can see I have a zip file called Canvas Starters. When I go ahead and choose that, uh, it's asking me if I want to go ahead and uh, expand it and so it will upload the zip file. It will then uh, create a folder called uh, whatever the name of that zip folder was. And now when I select the down arrow um, to the left of it, um, I'll be able to see um, any of the files that were uh, located within it. So that's uh, the three different ways in which to um, upload files. In the next section, we're going to uh, go ahead and talk about how you can move these files into a page and edit a page.